Hello, this is Luna Keyblade. Welcome back, and we are on part 6 of Fantasy Star 4 for the Sega Genesis. Last time we met a new friend, her name is Rika, and the computer that was indirectly responsible for the monster outbreak um, just, just destroyed itself to try to slow down the monster outbreak. So now what we have to do is head towards Zio's castle, but before we do that, we are going to make a trip to... Well, we're going to take a cross trip across the bridge to... to where... to the town where Chaz and Alice live. Ah, uh, yes, and since she is... Rika started at level 1, so because of that, she will be gaining levels very rapidly for the time being. She already, she's already pretty strong, even at level, just level 2, so. so yeah, she'll definitely be a great addition to the party. Anyway, here we are. The town of Aido, which as I said before is where Chaz and Alice live. And this is their home right here. So, ah, we're finally home. Shall we take it easy for the rest of the day? Sounds good. Okay, let's be up bright and early tomorrow. And now that we're rested up, let's go check out the Hunter's Guild. Except first, let's check out the uh, the equipment shop here. Let's see, we've got okay. I don't think I need this. I do need this. Two of these. Hope I'm not gonna have to grind for Masetta again to get this all this stuff. I bet I will, though. Well, if I have to do that, I'll do it off camera, so... Okay, I think this is all I'll need to buy from this shop. So all I'll have left to worry about are the weapons. And I need to stop doing that. Now let's go look at the weapons. I don't really 
have enough for any of this stuff. It seemed like the struggle axe wasn't really worth getting, so... And I already have a ceramic sword. Let me check this shop again. I may not need anything here. Oh well, I'll need the saber claws, but that's it. Oh, and the ceramic knife. One ceramic knife for Han. So, let's see here. Well, I think I'll go ahead and try to do some Masetta grinding, and then I'll come back when I'm done with it. Okay, I'm done with that, and now we will be going over to, up to the Hunter's Guild. You have come to the Hunter's Guild where we enrich the lives of hunters. The enrollment area is over there. For those of you hunters who have already joined, I'd like to give you information about available job listings. Currently listed are... These are the jobs that are currently offered. Any applicants? And seeing as there's only one listing at the moment, I guess we will do this one. This is a request from a ranch owner at the village of Lyle. The sandworms at my ranch have become so big that I'm at my wit's end. Please help. That is the message. The fee offered is 5,000 meseta. Will you take this job? Sure. In that case, please go to Lyle and get more details from the rancher. Alrighty. Now these hunters... Hunter's Guild quests are completely optional, but there's really no reason not to do them. You get good rewards, and later on you can find good items in some of the dungeons that they end up taking you to. So, again, as I said, there's just really no reason to not go. Anyway, since we have already been to Mile, we're going to use Ryuka to go back there. And here we are. I'm going to do a save state here because this is this is a actually a pretty hard battle we're about to get into. So let's do that. Okay, we're saved, and now let's talk to this guy. Are you the hunters from the guild? The sandworms I've raised in this ranch have grown so big. The situation is out of hand. But please, can you do something about it? I won't complain, whatever the outcome is. Well, you heard him. Let's go. Whoa. Okay, let's see. Um. Yeah, let's have Alice use this. Um. We'll have Chaz use this for now. And double slash is an ability that 
Rika learned while I was doing the grind, the Masetta grinding. And it is also a very powerful attack, similar, similar in how it works to the, um, to the, to the crosscut, which I actually have not shown you yet either, now that I think about it. But yeah, basically the biggest trick to this fight is to just be sure you keep all your characters HP up, which hopefully with Hans Jira's technique, if you've learned it by this point, won't be that difficult. close. Alice almost died there. Okay, that was easy. Usually, I lose at least one party member when doing this. So, that worked out pretty well. And we got quite a bit of experience for this. Alice gained a level. And she gained another level. And learned the skill Death. Chaz gained a level. Learned Zan. Gained another level. Learned Air Slash, which is a decent attack. Han gained a level. Learned Rimpa, which I cannot remember what that does offhand. Grizz gained a level, and he gained another level. Rika gained a level, and another level, and another level. And she learned the skill Eliminate. So yeah, that was pretty good. Um, everyone's at about the same level now, so yeah, that's great. Now we talk to this guy again. <sighs> and I was finally able to feed those sandworms successfully. The ranch, my dream. <sighs> Thank you. There's no use lamenting about the past. I should make a clean break and go on to the next thing. I'll send your compensation to the guild, so please pick it up there. Alrighty. We'll do that right now. Oh. Okay. Well, let's go rest up first then, I guess. Because it said I didn't have enough technique points to use Ryuka for chance to use Ryuka, so I guess I'll have to rest up first. Not a problem, though. Okay, 
Alright, now let's try that again. Okay, back to Aido. Or however you pronounce that. Good job! Congratulations on dealing with the sandworms so effectively. Please accept your commission fee of 5,000 Masetta. I'm glad we resolved the problem before anyone got hurt. Too bad for the ranch owner, though. But he seemed like a person who would not be daunted for long. I'm sure he'll prosper again. I like Rika. She's my favorite character. Okay, uh, we're done with that, so let's go take a rest at Alice and Chaz's house. And now we will leave town, and you've probably noticed, already noticed the cave just to the north just to the north of this town. That is where we'll be going next. So let's head on in there. Yeah, I did come in here to do my leveling up, but I didn't actually pick up any treasure because I didn't go very far. Uh, so we picked up a Dimate, which is a stronger version of the Monomate. And these guys you want to try to finish off as quickly as possible. Because, well, okay, yeah, there you go. There's the, why you want to finish them off quickly. Anyway, let's... Um, let's have... them use their special attacks. There we go. And it's even more like they're even more likely to fuse if you can't when you have a large group like this because it'll be hard to get rid of the last two and oh man, Han huh, died again. Oh boy, this is so ridiculous. I I I, re I really don't I really hate I know I've already said this, but I really hate Han as a party member. Okay. Well, time to back out of here, so I'll be back in a bit. 
Okay, I'm back again. Uh, hopefully there won't be any more interruptions. Uh, we'll just have to see. Okay, there's nothing over there. Han gained a level, and Grizz. Okay, Warcry is a good skill. It greatly increases... Uh, it greatly increases Grizz's attack power. So it's definitely one that you want to use on a regular basis. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I accidentally unplugged the controller from my PC, which made it not work with the emulator anymore. Anyway, as I said before, um, Warcry is definitely a skill that you will want Grizz to use during a boss fight, so definitely keep that in mind. And now we continue on through the cave, and here's a treasure, a cure paral paralysis. Probably should have had Han heal up everybody first, but oh well. We should. I think we are getting pretty close to the exit of this place, at least as well as I can remember. 
So we'll know pretty soon if I'm right or not. Okay, that worked out well, and there's no treasure down there. Okay, Rika learned Jira's. Now we're now we're in business. We that means we have two party members that know it, so that'll help a lot. Okay, and here's the exit. And where are we now? Oh, okay. What might this place be? Well, we'll find out in a little bit. Okay, I guess I knew. I had a feeling I should have healed Han, but oh well. Doesn't matter where where we're supposed to be now, which is the town of Cod Cottery. Well, let's go and rest up first. this person doing? Oh, see of the Holy One! Wow. Um, okay. Well, there's no weapons or armor here, looks like. At least not for sale, but there is a little... Oh, fudge, that wasn't it. There is a little trick here. Or a little secret, I should say. We go into this building and we find a laser slasher for Alice. So, this is very nice of them. They keep weapons around for anyone who might want them, including, like, say their enemies, maybe? I don't know. And what's in this house, I have to remember. Oh. This music again. I've just been running this place like a regular inn, but one day, Zeo soldiers came. They said to just put everything on a running tab, but they never pay up. Boo-hoo. Who's this person? If you follow Zeo, we can show you a good time, just like this. Nah, I think I'll pass. 
So yeah, this is just some CD tavern now. So yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Let's go ahead and check out this place for a little bit. Okay, looks to be some kind of church. This is a church where we worship the great Zio. Oh. Zio says he's going to cleanse this soiled land with the fires of destruction. And then he's going to build a utopian society populated with only the finest citizens. How wonderful! The thought makes me tingle. Uh, that's nice. Those ignorant masses living in idleness. These are exactly the people that should be purged at the ha hands of Zeo. Wow. And who's this old man? Zeo is, is at his fort where he teaches and guides us. How thankful we are to him. Alrighty. No one other than Zeo can save us from the uncleanliness of Moldavia. Ah, glory be to you, Zeo. He's fainted. How how frightening. Yeah, that's definitely a good sign. I wonder if this is an altar. I better not get too close. We can't talk to him now that he's fainted. This is scary. It sure is, Chaz, and I think this is where I'm going to stop this time. Uh, next time, we will be heading towards Zeo's fort to finally take on Zeo. So, until then, this is Linda Keyblade, and I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed this, and bye-bye.